What's up kids? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I want to show you a couple of cell phones that were are really nostalgic for me. Uh, these are the two cell phones that I really wanted as a kid. You may uh, recognize this one. Uh, the, the Both phones that I'm showing you are Motorola's. This one was um, kind of a later generation of the early phone that is called a brick phone or referred to as a brick phone. There were a few different versions of it. If you saw the movie Pretty Woman, um, Richard Gere uses one of the larger ones. You could get kind of an extended battery here so it would last all day. Imagine that. And I just remember seeing these as a kid probably, oh, mid-90s maybe, and thinking, man, that guy is a baller. Um, I just thought it looked massive. It looked like a brick. It was big, heavy, but sleek. Um, it looked l almost like it was one of those cordless phone handsets that was just picked up and carried with you. And they were awesome for me. It made me want to be a Wall Street stockbroker at the time, um, thinking that you'd carry these things around and they would, uh, you would be um, getting ladies' phone numbers all day. I also remember... Um, as a kid, there was a, a cool car out at the time called the Dodge Stealth, and uh, a guy I knew drove that car and had one of these phones, and I thought he was the coolest thing in the world. Um, they're characterized by uh, the long brick style. They're actually very comfortable to hold in the hand because there's a lot of uh, girth here to grab onto. They had this kind of long tier, you know, um, uh, Empire State Building-like antenna on them that was flexible uh, if you find these phones today a lot of times these ten these antennas are are bent slightly or worse because of the way they were stored and um the the, the outer casing was often a off-white kind of that uh, standard computer white plastic in this case it's it's a uh, gray and then this front could have been a dark gray like this one or sometimes a light gray like that and and i just really 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 loved them so they look cool they still hold up this thing is like a tank it's really heavy uh, I think it's like a nickel metal hydride battery I don't remember what the talk time is on them I never had one of these models uh, live at the time by the time I was or my family got our first cell phones these were already kind of on the way out more to the bag phones the next phone that kind of really uh, made me fall in love was this Motorola the deployable antenna kind of flexible there this one's not in great shape but I just love that it was at the time it was super small you know for the guys that were carrying this it was a little hard to carry but they could put this presumably in your pocket and then it just looked cool and at the time I think Star Trek the next generation was popular and so the tricorder motif was popular um, this one by Motorola they did sell them kind of as, or label brand them as digital personal communicators um, so kind of I think playing off the Star Trek and the futuristic uh angle of these things obviously this one goes from bell atlantic which may or may not be around who knows they also came with a couple of different batteries on the back here so this was the bigger one for um, extended talk and standby time and then there were slimmer ones so this would be almost that slim and those were wicked cool too but it was just really awesome to have a flip phone like this they were really durable the uh i noticed the the bottom panel here is, tends to flex a little bit, so um, not quite as much risk of just breaking it off with a little bit of carelessness, rubberized sides, volume up and down. The the the, the LCD on this was kind of cool, it just showed numbers across. Um, you know, this was the phone that was out when my family started getting into cell phones. And interestingly, I remember a lot of the problems with cell phone service more than I remember problems with the phone. I, I remember problems where I would even call my father who had a phone. Uh, he'd even be in town and his phone wouldn't ring. Um, I certainly remember traveling with this phone and you would almost never get a call if it was inbounded to you for whatever reason. Uh, when you were outside a cell tower out in your own area code, it just never rang. Um, it would often call out without a problem uh, and sometimes even then that was kind of spotty. It would sometimes have a signal and wouldn't even call out, but um, it was super cool. Big kind of illuminated buttons. And if I remember correctly, kind of a really electronic sound when you're dialing, like beep, 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 
kind of a deal. So, um, and I believe this was all like a red LCB, L, LCD um, or like a TFT display uh, kind of there. So these were the two phones that really sold me and made me want to be a, uh, kind of that those those cheesy 80 success stories. Um, not because I really wanted success at the time, but more because I wanted the phone. That ever happened to you? Peter Von Panda with the two two Motorola cell phones that are nostalgic for me. Out.